throughout much of the history of the NBA, the center position has been dominated by hulking giants, striking fear in anyone who entered the paint. The NBA's first superstar was a center, George Mikan, an unrelenting force on both ends of the floor. George Mikan, king of the court, stands 6'10 and aces high with the Minneapolis Lakers. Wilt Chamberlain continued the tradition of a larger-than-life pivot man who possessed an unstoppable game. One of the game's true giants, Wilt Chamberlain, a dominating player in all facets of the game. Wilt's contemporary, Bill Russell, added mobility to the center position, but he, too, made his reputation down low, grabbing rebounds and swatting shots. What a display of basketball prowess by Big Bill Russell. As Russell left the game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar entered, the anchor of the Showtime Lakers. The NBA's all-time leading scorer proved that a seven-footer could also have finesse. Kareem is playing a masterful game. Kareem gave way to a superstar who was a fitting addition to the big man fraternity. Combining power and agility, Shaquille O'Neal became an updated version of the dominant NBA center. That man is just a huge overpowering specimen. But today, the definition of an NBA five man isn't easy to pin down. No longer confined to the paint, players of all shapes, sizes, and skill sets have become centers of attention for their teams. It's definitely changing. You know, you don't see as many back-to-basket guys like David Lee. He's a guy who's playing on the perimeter, setting a lot of screens, slipping to the basket. David Lee hucks it in! Most of the guys I'm playing against are three or four inches taller and, and outweigh me by about 50 pounds. So getting up and down the floor is our advantage and just trying to use explosiveness and quickness. A big bucket for David Lee. Being able to be quick and athletic out there, that's an advantage for playing at the center position. Now Horford stole the ball and then he gets a hoop at the other end. The game has gotten a little bit smaller with center shooting the ball from three-point range. Are you kidding me? That is his sixth hit of the night. So I think that, you know, everybody brings something, uh, something a little bit different. But no center is as different as Houston's Chuck Hayes. He dares to roam in the land of the Giants at only six feet, six inches tall. The Chuck oh! is rolling tonight. With Dikembe Mutombo retired and seven foot six Yao Ming out with an injury, the Rockets turn to a man who stands a full foot shorter and certainly never thought of himself as a true NBA pivot. When Yao went down and I was put into the starting lineup, I didn't think I would be called a center. I just thought I would be called another forward. Like we were running three forwards and two guards. But somehow through the introductions, the announcer kicked one and called me a center. A so what is his secret to success against bigger competition? I'm just always moving. My foot speed is quicker than theirs, and my hand speed is quicker than theirs. So I have to use that as my advantage. Came in against a much smaller pace. Chuck, he's got the biggest base, and you just can't move him. He's like a rock. He's like a boulder, and he, he uses leverage better than anyone I've seen. I get my legs from my mom. I use it to my advantage where I kind of hold my ground but also I can still move them side to side. And that's how I'm able to have some success down there guarding the bigger guys. Hayes did a good job of pushing him out. That's what Hayes can do. He's an unbelievable post defender. He can guard any center in the league from Shaq to Dwight Howard and defend them well. While Hayes more than holds his own on D, his mobility gives him a distinct advantage on the offensive end. There you Chuck go. Hayes running the court. And Hayes comes down with it, flushes it. Great hustle, Chuck Hayes. Chuck allows us the opportunity to run, spread the floor. He's a great passer. Hayes with the drive, sets up Landry. Everybody wants to go small, but unless you have somebody that can actually defend and rebound like him, you can't do it. This season, Hayes has become a symbol of a gritty Rockets team that has found a winning formula despite lacking a true superstar. Chuck is a fighter. He's going to give you everything he got. He's going to put it all out on the court. What a great play down on a four by Chuck Hayes. Chuck is the linchpin of our team, and he is a huge part of what our success will be this year. 